Okay, so now you know how Quadrant uses HNSW to efficiently search through these vectors. But more often than not, in real-world applications, you're going to want to restrict your search results by using filters. For example, let's say you're searching through items of an online store, but you only want to find laptops priced under $1,000. This price information, along with the category name, doesn't really live in the vector itself, but in the payload. So when you apply a filter like price less than a thousand, you are essentially restricting which points are eligible during search. And this actually introduces a few challenges for graph traversal. And this is due because HNSW depends on both short range and long range edges to efficiently navigate through the graph. It essentially assumes that every point in the graph is reachable. But if filtering removes a large portion of those points, the search path can begin to break down and you might risk missing relevant results, not because they aren't similar, but because they are unreachable under the filter. One not so great strategy to work around this is to ignore the filter at first, just retrieve the top K most similar results and apply the filter afterwards. The problem with this strategy is that you might end up discarding most of your top K results, and if the best match in your data set that you were looking for isn't even in this top K, you would just end up not seeing it. So you both spend compute, retrieving vectors that you will never use, and also drop recall because relevant vectors were never retrieved. But Quadrant uses a smarter approach to filter through the HNSW graph, which we call filterable HNSW. We can guarantee that the HNSW will remain connected by creating additional edges that will maintain connectivity under filtering. These subgraphs are built using the payload. So if you have a point with the payload brand equal Apple, then Quadrant can build a subgraph connecting just the points that also have the same payload brand equal Apple, and traversal will work fine within that group. At query time, Quadrant uses a query planner to figure out the most efficient way to run your search. Depending on how complex your filters are and how many points they match, it can take a few different routes. When the filter is too broad or matches many points, Quadrant performs a regular HNSW search, skipping over the nodes that don't match the filter. This helps avoid the cost of pre-filtering the entire dataset or nodes up front, and also keeps search fast and efficient. However, when the filter is narrow or matches fewer points, then Quadrant applies this pre-filtering using the payload indexes to find only the points that match my filter. Then I can ignore all the rest of my points or nodes and only search within this subgraph using HNSW. However, if my filter is extra narrow and I only have a few points that match this filter, then Quadrant will skip HNSW entirely and just use full scan or how we call it before, brute force search. This planning happens per segment and it's based on filter cardinality, index availability, and other thresholds that you set in your parameters of your collection, such as the full scan threshold. This is why payload indexing is so important. If you skip it, then you may get slower search speeds and also waste computational resources if you're using queries with filters. Also, Quadrant does not automatically index your payload fields. You need to explicitly define the payload fields that you want to be indexed. However, you need to remember that the payload index also occupies some memory of your machine. So you need to be mindful and only index the payload fields that you will use uh, when applying filters. If you need to filter by many fields, but your memory constraints does not allow you to index all of them, it is recommended to choose the field that restricts the search results the most. The more different values a payload index has, the more efficiently the payload index will be used. It's also good to remember that the filterable HNSW is not a separate indexing mechanism than the base HNSW index. It's just an improvement for performance under filtering that Quadrant applies to our base HNSW. 